hello guys welcome to my channel so whenever you launch the game if you are receiving this error that is launch error 30005 couldn't start the game create file field with 32 so if you are receiving this error then please follow the steps shown in this video so so before trying any troubleshooting steps first of all make a right click on the start menu and then go to task manager if you have any EA anti-cheat service running over here, any kind of EA anti-cheat service running or the game service running, make a right click and then click on end task. In my case, it's not running. So I'm showing you with different service. But if you see EA, like easy anti-cheat service or game service running related to this game, then you can end the task and then try to launch the game once again. Still not working, then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart Steam. Do not ignore this. Just go to Steam at the top right, uh, top left click on Steam and then click on exit. And once Steam is closed, now you can launch Steam and then check. If that does not work, restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. This has worked for many players. So it might work for you. So simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to use start protected game exe file to launch the game so for this make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder open the game folder over here you can see start start protected game so you can make a double click over here and then try to launch the game from here if that does not work you can even use the game exe file make a double click launch the game from here and then check Next step is to uninstall and reinstall easy anti-cheat. Now for this, again, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files, and then open the game folder, open easy anti-cheat folder. Now over here, you can see uninstall easy anti-cheat EOS setup. Make a double click and then click on yes to allow. Even if you receive this error, just ignore it, close it, and then run this uninstall easy anti-cheat click double click click on yes to allow just ignore the error and then close this and then run this inst install easy anti-cheat make a double click and then click on yes to allow and press any key to close this once this is done now you can launch the game if that does not work you can even just make a double click on this and then launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this you can go to the game installation folder make a right click on the game exe files so make a right click on the game exe file and then select properties and then go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work again go to properties and this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you are using allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security in that case uh, you can open windows settings go to privacy and security go to windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add and allowed app click on browse all apps go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder open the steam apps folder open the common folder and then open the game folder game and then select the game exe file click on open again click on add and allowed app browse all apps select this exe file and then click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then 
select the game exe file and then click on open and then click on add once the game is added again click on allow another app click on browse and then select this exe file click on open click on add in my case the game is already added once it is added over here now you can launch the game and then you can check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest geforce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now still not working in that case you can use display driver uninstall to perform clean installation and then install the latest graphic card driver from nvidia or amd website so if you have this ddu installed you can open this if you don't have it you can search in google install this display driver uninstaller once in once you install it uh, you can uh, select your if you have nvidia you can select your nvidia if you have amd you can select amd select your graphic card and then you can click on clean and restart and once it is done completely restart your computer and then you can go to nvidia website if you have nvidia card and install the latest graphic card driver if you have amd card go to amd website install the latest graphic card driver and then again restart your computer and then launch the game this has also worked for many players so it might offer you next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on add once the game is added over here find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game and then over here you can see gpu preference set it to high performance you will see your graphic card over here now you can launch the game and then check next is to update the system bios now this has also worked for many players so if you have like whichever brand you have like if you have a dell computer go to dell if you have a lenovo computer go to lenovo whichever brand you have go to system manufacturer website select your model number and then find the latest bios update available in drivers page and then uh, update the bios and then restart your computer now in case of laptop make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected when you update the system bios do not unplug the power cable during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable. And once the BIOS update is done, log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. Make our active in the game, select properties. And in the general tab, go to the launch option, type in dash DX11. Uh, sorry, dash DX11, launch the game and then check. Still not working, then you can even try dash DX12. Launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this empty this and then follow the next step now the next step is to delete graphics config file when you delete the graphics config file all the saved settings will be lost so uh, to delete the graphic config file uh, you can open file explorer and then go to this pc open c drive now open your users folder now open your username folder open app data folder if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the roaming folder now over here you will see night rain folder open this folder and over here you can see graphics 
fine so you can copy this create a backup first so just create a backup uh, once you have a backup of graphics uh, graphics config now you can delete this folder make a right click and delete it and then you can launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can rename or delete the save game files so when you rename or delete the save game files you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so create a backup first so go to the same location uh, you can go to this location once you go to this location uh, you will see this night rain folder you can just create a backup so copy this folder paste it to the desktop once you have a backup of this folder now you can rename this folder dot old rename it and then you can launch the game but the game will start from scratch now you can check still not working then verify the game files now do not ignore this this has worked for many players so make a right click on the game go to properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed then you have to restart your computer and let the update complete restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to install visual c plus plus file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio files now scroll down you have to download this x86 and x64 install these two files so click on it and then run the cxc file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button put a check and then hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well now again if you see the repair option and run this if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option hit install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both the files are installed and then once installed you have to restart you can be a restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to unplug all the external devices so if your hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected to the computer disconnect it if you have extra controller connected disconnect it sometimes we have extra dongle connected disconnect it disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game go to properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game now if you if you have any other overlay application running like if you have discord running or if you have nvidia app running you can go to discord settings turn off overlay you can go to nvidia app settings and turn off nvidia overlay or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also do not overclock if you have overclocked your computer set it to default and then close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner revert tuner or any kind of overclocking application running close it if you have any kind of third party services or application running close all the third party services and application and then launch the game remove the underboot if you have underbooted your computer remove the underboot and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 
1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I've converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, click on uninstall. After the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer. Then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check if the game is already installed to C drive. Try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.